Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, and hello and welcome all. Welcome back to the Technus Corner. Today we've got a review on an item and a how to utilize this item per se. I've just assessed it and it's in working condition, so it's worthwhile promoting it. And it's an easy way to take your old VHS tapes, your old footage that you have stacked up and digitize it so that you've got it available on say your computer, your phone, wherever you'd like to be able to have it available, to be able to post, to send to family members and or reminisce on the nostalgia per se. So we've got ourselves over here a adapter per se and let's take a closer look at it and how in fact how easy it is to be able to utilize and digitize your old VHS videos in this day and age so let's go so what we have here is essentially a composite RCA and S video to USB video capture dongle being the specific title of this item on ebay you can get them for around 20 australian dollars this one is a generic version of the adapter and i'll show you guys the example of the adapter i purchased already there's a discrepancy between the title it's not actually an easy cap adapter but probably made by exactly the same manufacturer so getting through the nitty gritty per se so as you guys can see this is an example of one of these said items it's a composite rca and s video to usb video capture dongles what you're looking for here it specifies it's easy cap on the other hand our version looks exactly the same but doesn't have the easy cap logo attached to it so you've got your s video your c vbs in and your audio in and out so you've got your right and left audios your avi and it's usb dongle in this case so this is essentially just plain plug and play and will be plug and play available to the general user and all you will need would be your computer and a bit of software that can capture it and I'll link in the description below some free software which is OBS and it's compatible with the majority of all capturing devices in this day and age including this device and for $20 you can't go wrong you don't have to spend more than that but if you're after something a little bit more robust, here we've got a AV and S video to HDMI. So if you've got a HDMI output, you take that HDMI cable and then you would plug it into your capture card and do exactly the same thing that we're about to do. But the difference is with this type of item, which wasn't in stock at the time, otherwise I would have got it. You can, for example, take your retro gaming consoles and plug them into also a, a HDMI television per se. So your analog signal can be taken and converted. And you know we're taking that analog signal essentially, and we're converting our old VHS tapes into digitized formats so that we can utilize them or store them on our computers as files uh, so that if the tapes get damaged we've still got something to reminisce over so with that being said let's take a closer look at the dongle per se that we've got ourselves for 21 dollars it's just before christmas now so i'm thinking i'm going to take some of the old family vhs tapes and sort of spruik up and do a mishmash uh for mum per se have her have some digitized stuff as well and just sort of leave it on her computer and surprise her and yeah it's really simple you just have you need one piece of software if you got a computer and that's obs and it's a free open source piece of software which is very versatile if you ever get into streaming you can utilize it as well and with and i'll link it in the description below as i specified so let's take a closer look at this adapter per se and see what we're dealing with at first glance it's it's nothing special it came neatly packaged to me like like so and bubble wrapped and everything so we've unpacked it and greeted with what i thought was then a knockoff item per se to the easy cap because easy cap has a somewhat cheap but established name in the industry this is exactly the same probably manufactured in exactly the same outlet 
Okay, on the back side of it, there's nothing specific. It's very generic. And we'll open up the packet and examine the item a little closer. So I'll pop that to the side. And here it is, okay? So you've got your USB 2.0 in this case, and that's all you need to capture VHS tapes. Although the signal needs to be clear, it's not heavily going to construe the bandwidth per se. So I'll put the cap back on. So just a USB 2.0 port is necessary, okay? Here you've got your S-Video in. So this can go into camcorders and things like that, that you may have back in the day and strip those eight millimeter tapes otherwise you've got your audio in and which is your red and your white rca jacks and your video in which is your yellow one so these three specific cables are what we're going to utilize and we're essentially going to go to the back of the vcr because you also need a vcr in this case if you are copying vhs tapes just pretty much plug and play so it's very very simple on a side note we've got a manual the manual specifically specifies it's got a couple of bits of software which on one side it's all in i believe chinese on the other side you've got the option specifies for obs and how to exactly connect it up with the software it's very simple you just have to go into video capture device as an option and choose the dongle as a source and it comes up as RCA to USB 2.0. It'll be your only source if you don't have any other sources connected to the computer. Once it's connected, you just have to put in the tape and press play once it's set up with the OBS software and you'll see it come up on screen and then you can just maximize it to the resolution you want Although you are capped at 720 by 480 VHS styles. Okay, guys? So I'll show you, I'll give you guys a demonstration of this. Okay, so first things first is you're going to need your VCR. So I've got a old Panasonic VCR here, which has done me well. Probably won't even need the remote, frankly, um, providing it's set up on the right settings. Now I've already plugged it in and she seems to still be working. Going to the back, you're going to have to plug in the RCA cord. Okay, so you will need the cord that you normally have with the VCR and just plug it into the AVI out. Okay, because the signal is going to be coming out from the VCR and going to our PC per se and coming up on the monitor over there, just like I've got OBS currently. And that's OBS currently open now. So from here, all you have to do is take that lead, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to plug in our audio left, audio right, and just in the corresponding colors, and our video in as well, which is the yellow one okay then with this end here take the cap off because we don't need that and you're going to plug it into a usb port i've got a usb extender here okay and it's not recommended to use them but it's very short and it's got a uh, bumper part on it which uh, strengthens the signal i'm just going to plug that in like so and then it's lit up signifying that it's it's been read and it's active so we'll just drop it down over here. So as you can see, it's showing that the signal's active now. Then all you have to do is go to OBS essentially. So as you can see, I'm on OBS now. You would go, to, in, in our case, we're going to go to a new source, okay? Or a new scene. So, scenes uh this is how you get obs at the beginning okay um, i'm going to delete and remove this video capture device to show you guys then from here you would go to sources you would hit the plus button or the add button 
and you would add a video capture device okay I've got an existing video capture devices here you may or may not have any uh, if you're new to this then you probably won't have anything there whatsoever we're going to create a new video capture device I'm going to rename this for the hell of it VHS dongle just so I know what it is and hit OK and then it comes up with in this case it will be that source if it's your only source otherwise you have to select the source okay and in our case the source is AV to USB 2.0 hit that okay and then essentially we've got this screen here for the time being I wouldn't do anything except grab your video and in my case I'm going to utilize this old video which had my communion on it or my communion party as well as uh, some gymnastics I'm not sure at what point in the video we're at but I know that this works and so that's the VCR for example so it's not going to damage the video person this video is probably about close to 25 years of age or older so all you have to do is pop it in now okay and if it doesn't play automatically we should just be able to hit play on it providing you've got the right output on it and bang essentially we are lit up guys instantaneously we're lit up and I'm doing some gymnastics there so from here it's very simple you won't get the unless you um, to get sound okay uh, you have to go into audio output mode and hit direct sound and then use custom audio device and now we've got some sound coming through our speakers but also at the same time you can see the desktop audio coming through on OBS that mic here is my mic that's currently connected that's explaining this to you as well so then from here you can just stretch this image to the desired width so just there and I'm going to center it as well okay I could stretch it out by holding shift and hitting that angle there and there but it'll distort the image per se so that's something to consider so popping it back we'll have a couple of black bars so be it and it's a little you can just lock the screen and all you have to do is start recording that's all you have to do so once you finish recording okay you press stop recording then what you'll do is you'll go to your files um, and it'll be in your generic videos folder and it'll be literally one of the first dated images that has come up in my case uh, we haven't actually saved this file because I'm currently recording as well at the same time so it's not going to come up but for example we've got mum's the best and over here I was doing something a little earlier and that was my actual communion guys if you would believe so um, that this is over this is quite an old video as well that's been preserved now and digitized and this is what we're talking about to watch it on watch it back on your computer you just need a program called VLC player it's a free open source program as well and yeah guys so in this case I will stop the video and as soon as you stop the video this is what happens it just goes black and then you can stop the recording okay 
So with that being said, guys, I hope that explains to you guys in a, uh, a round off fashion how easy it is to use one of these adapters to take your old VHS tapes and not just VHS tapes, but your camcorder 8mm tapes with the other black uh, cable and essentially record them and digitalize them for, for years worth of memories to come per se and in an easier file format to deal with in this day and age. So my name is Sev Luca. Thanks for chilling out at the Techness Corner, and peace out, y'all.